Hi, we're going to have a look at the new WatchGuard AP130 and what's inside the box. So as you can see here, I have a WatchGuard 130. It's in its typical WatchGuard Eco box. So as we open this up, take it out. Thank you very much. We'll get rid of that. We'll then put the AP to one side, down to the quick start startup guide, and also the box of tricks. So like the ones at the 330, if you've already seen that video, you'll know what I'm going to talk about. But here we go. The startup guide, very crucial. Because inside there, it actually shows you what comes with the box, but it also shows you how to mount the actual AP. Because inside the magic box, we give you all the T-Rail mounts from the small to the medium. We also give you a way that you can mount it flush against the wall because we give you the screws. As well as that, we also give you the information about the lighting sequence. We've got rid of the need to have multiple lights to tell you different things and flashing in certain ways. It's basically, if it's red, it means it's not connected to the cloud. If it's blue, it's connected to the cloud. Life is easy. So that's the startup guide. If we carry on into the box, we'll see the actual mounting bracket. So they come with both types. I'll open these all plastic things. There we go. So, as you can see, both are identical. These are exactly the same mounting brackets that are on the AP330 as well. So you can easily take one of these and you can slide it in there and you're instantly able to mount either a 130, 330 or whatever APs we come out with because we're keeping to a universal standard. Now, as you can see, very much clip. Now this one has the spaces, so you're able to mount this directly to the wall or the ceiling. Or you can use these other mounting holes as well. When we look at what's actually to connect, well, we have the DC power here and we have the PoE connection because this will actually take PoE and doesn't require PoE plus to actually transmit. When we look at the actual AP itself, looks uniform, used to, looks exactly the same as the 330, but a lot smaller. This has only two radios in here, but it's a two by two, uh, four antennas. So it doesn't have a scanning radio in this and it doesn't have BLE in it. So this is the entry level AP, but signal is good and a good range. So I actually say it's better than the 125, its predecessor. Well, one is better looking for sure. If we look at it, very much the same. And it has the Kensington lock, the same way that you can lock it to the wall like the 330. Very thin, not so much ugly, I'm pleased to say. And remember, there is also the new desktop mount that they have as well, that can also be mounted at a 45 degree angle on the wall. So if you want, you can have that mounted horizontally. Anyway, so that is the AP130. It's a two by two with four aerials, no BLE and no scanning radio. This is the entry level AP, but never to say it's a very good AP on its way. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.